now at five, going home from the hospital. There's nothing like the brotherhood at this fire department. A firefighter injured in a deadly crash. I remember getting to the scene, and then I just remember waking up with a trauma center. Makes major progress in his road to recovery. Javier Corrales' injuries are still easy to spot days after the weekend crash that claimed the life of a student at Christopher Columbus High School. CBS 4's Ted Scouten live in Miami with more on how he's doing. Ted. Yeah, Rick, he is on the mend tonight after being released earlier this afternoon from the Ryder Trauma Center. He has injuries to his back, his head, and he also has fractures. But overall, he is doing very well and looking forward to getting back to work at Station 6 after his recovery. Surrounded by cheering co-workers with a bandaged head, fractured bones, and a hurt back, Miami firefighter Javier Corrales is released from the hospital. He was hurt over the weekend while helping others at an accident scene on I-95. I remember getting to the scene, and then I just remember waking up at the trauma center. I don't remember anything that happened during the accident. What Corrales does not remember is that while working the scene, another car lost control hitting him, a co-worker, and a fire truck. James Vila, a student at Christopher Columbus High School, was killed. That death, along with his own injuries, made it tough on Corrales. This is hard being away from home and hard to hear all the stories. I, I also learned that somebody lost her life, which I'm very sorry for that. So just putting it all together is like, kind of tough. Obviously, it's something very hard, difficult to go through when you get a phone call at 3 o'clock in the morning telling you that something has happened to your husband. It's been hard on Corrales' wife, Juliet, and the family, too, but she's grateful for all the support and that her husband is coming home. Every day, you pray and hope that he's going to come home and that he's going to be okay. Um, it's what he chose to do, so I support him, but obviously, you always have it in the back of your head that one day, something might happen. Corrales is thankful he'll be able to work again and even more thankful for the men and women who have been looking out for him and his family. This fire department is the best. You know, just watching the guys come and being there for me. There's nothing like the brotherhood that this fire department has. There's nothing like it. Now, he still has a little time to go before he can go back to work. He has to go through rehab for his injuries so he can get back up to 100% so he can do what he does best, which is to help others. Live in Miami, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Ted.